Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global got another data download last night, and as you guys know, I always like to keep you guys in the loop about what's going on with these things, so without further ado, let's check it out. Now first things first, I do want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. And this particular data download was fairly small compared to, you know, some previous ones, so this video should be fairly quick. Okay, so let's pop down to the bottom here, and apparently the first thing that happened was that they made some minor changes to some extreme super bad road maps. Specifically, they removed a few rocks. Apparently that's all there was to it. I, I you know, I can't really tell a difference. I don't really pay attention to the rocks or the map in general for these stages. Usually when I'm doing extreme super battle road, I'm much more focused on the enemies and not dying, but yeah, apparently it made a few changes and removed a few rocks. So that's the first thing. From there, we have a new Super Saiyan Blue Goku story asset, and he's gonna be the boss for the upcoming uh, combat simulation nuking event. And we also have a uh, Angel Cocoon Frieza, also from the same event. And from there, we have the map for the event. It's called 200% Perfect Combat Simulation. And we also have some extreme Dokkan Festival tickets, obviously available through the Pilaf's Trove for the upcoming uh, Int Kid Buu Extreme Z Awakening. So here are the Kid Buu EZA medals. And finally, we have a few assets for the event itself. So that is going to be the uh, you know Kid Buu stuff right there, as well as the logo for the Extreme Z Battle event. And that is pretty much all there is to it, guys. Like I said, a very small data download, not really much to talk about. And a uh, quick breakdown here, Int Kid Buu Extreme Z Battle, and 200% perfect combat simulation. Now, if you guys are curious about what the Extreme Z Battle event looks like, or what the weakness for the event is, or some team building tips, or what the Kid Buu actually does with his Extreme Z Awakening, then feel free to go check out my global preview video from yesterday. I'll put a link somewhere above my head. Okay, so from there, let's uh, quickly pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and take a look at this uh, combat simulation event. So it is dropping at the same time as the Kid Buu Extreme Z Awakening on January 11th. And uh, basically there's five stages and each of the stages has a different type for the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And you're essentially, uh, it says here, the goal of the event is to clear all five combat simulations within the least amount of turns with each combat simulation being weak to a certain category. Okay, so there's five stages. There's an advantage category for each. The first stage is Universe Survival Saga. The second stage is Resurrected Warriors. Third stage is Wicked Bloodline. Fourth stage is Transformation Boost. And fifth stage is Otherworld Warriors. And the friend list always provides a special friend with a fully activated hidden potential, so rainbowed, and also level five attack skill orbs and level five link skills. Don't know why it's not level 10, but it is what it is. And uh, one other thing is that they don't allow you to bring any of the traditional nuke leads, like the 33% leads, right? And also Devil Man for obvious reasons, because I guess they don't want to make it too easy, but you don't need to actually nuke the event. You just need some, you know, card hitting units, and you should be able to clear all the missions and get all the stones. Now, speaking of the missions, there are five missions for each stage, so it can be cleared five times in total for a grand total, I believe, of 25 stones, right? So you get one stone for just clearing the stage, you get another stone for clearing a stage within five turns, uh, one more stone for four turns, one more stone for within three turns, and one more stone for within two turns. So yeah, like I said, up to five stones per stage, and uh, you can also get a lot of Zenny, actually. If you add all these up times five, that's probably like, um, I don't know, like 40 million Zenny or something like that, and also a good amount of the Sleepy Kai's. So that's three, two, one, so six, six times five, is uh, 30, right? So 30 Sleepy Guys, and with a 30%, wait, hold on. Does the math check out? Yes, it does. Okay, so 30 Sleepy Guys. I always have to make sure that I get it correct, because otherwise I'm gonna get roasted in the comments. So 30 Sleepy Guys, you got a one in three chance usually of them working, so, you know, it's like 10-ish Elder Kai's essentially, right? Also some incredible gems, which are always useful. And I think that's pretty much all there is to know about this event. Um, if you guys have any trouble with, uh, you know, beating the stages, beating the missions, then I might come back and make a separate, like, guide video. But for now, that's the basic premise of the event. Now, before we go, 
Um, I always recommend people to, you know, skip these banners, but in case you were curious about what the Kid Buu Extreme Z, you know, battle banner looks like, um, it's the same as all the other ones with three featured Extreme Z Awakenable units. And for this one, it's Int Kid Buu, Fizz Broly, and Fizz Full Power Frieza. Now, Kid Buu himself has a really good Extreme Z Awakening, and uh, the Broly's Extreme Z Awakening is actually phenomenal. He's actually one of my favorite EZA units, and Full Power Frieza is okay. I mean, he hits decently hard, like he hits quite hard actually, but his defense is just okay as well. Like overall, I would say he's a good EZA, but um, overall, like the banner is not that exciting. And like I said, I don't recommend people to summon. If you are going to summon and you are pay to play, I would actually recommend for you to just like buy the tickets because it's better value than actually spending stones doing multis on this banner. But obviously the good thing about these banners is that it's only three featured SSRs, which means that each of them has a 1.66% pull rate and your chances of pulling Kid Buu or Broly or Full Power Frieza is uh, quite high, like really high compared to a normal banner, right? So there's that, but uh, still with LR Jiren and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta right around the corner, do you really want to be spending stones on an Extreme Z battle banner, right? If anything, if you really want Kid Buu, just buy him with red coins for, uh, is it 150 or 200? I think it's 200 for 120 leads, right? So yeah, buy him for 200 coins if you really, really want him. Not necessarily worth it in my opinion, but if you just want him that bad, you're a huge Kid Buu fan. That's a much better option than spending, you know, even 100 or like 200 stones trying to get him and potentially not even pulling him still. Like, it's still just a chance, not guaranteed, right? So I would just buy him with coins if you guys really want him. Otherwise, he's not so broken where like, you know, you have to have him right now. He will be featured on other banners in the future. So if you can wait, then just wait. Okay, so that is the data download video for today, guys. Thank you to Proton10MG again for the assets. And uh, like I said, guys, not much to talk about. We got the Inkid Boo EZA dropping in about three days. We have the combat simulation event for some extra stones. And hopefully we get some more news about the next global celebration uh, fairly soon. And also on the JP side, the anniversary. It's coming up, man. It's currently January 8th. The anniversary will be starting in about two, maybe two and a half weeks. So we should be getting some leaks or just some kind of preview for the upcoming units very, very soon. So get ready for that. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.